Assalamu alaikum guys. Today in this practical video, I will guide you for some common mistakes. Guys, you can see practically, this is floor beam design. They did the work without steel structural design, therefore they did a lot of mistakes in the construction of this RCC slab. Guys, this is junction between beam and column. You can see the stirrups spacing and the distance of L by 4. Hooks are bent with 90 degree. Spacing is maximum. And the first stirrup is placed with the distance of 8 inches. This one is on the distance of 6 inches. Look at here guys. They did not provide it proper uh, reinforcement, especially in the junction between beam and column. As you can see, they provided just two steel rods, extra steel rods, which length is insufficient. This is not okay. At this place, they should provide extra rod or bent up bar with the distance of L by 4. Look here guys, the spacing is about 6 inches. This is commercial building. So therefore, they should care especially for its steel reinforcement. You can see guys, the stirrup spacing. 7 inches, 6 inches. So the first stirrup should be placed with the distance of minimum 2 inches. Now guys, you can see. Where we have negative bending moment. On the top of the beam here guys you can see this is beam so they uh, they will provide here the lapping so this is a big mistake so this is lapping mistake so this is not the place where you, you can provide lapping the lapping should be provided after l by 4 distance but not at the mid as well as as you can see guys here also you can see the lapping so this is not the proper design of steel reinforcement in the construction of rcc slab Look at here guys, you can see the lapping. Here in this construction, we have more than 50% lapping. Here guys, we have maximum uh, negative bending moment. But I don't know why they are just wasting the time as well as wasting of money. Lapping, you can see guys here. Look at here. I don't know why they did this. So therefore, if you don't have the structural design for commercial building, domestic building, so you will face more problems. The steel fixer will do something with your steel reinforcement because uh, you are not engineer, especially non-technical people. So they will face a lot of problems after finishing. Everything is wrong guys. This is the place to provide or to resist negative bending moment. Look at here guys we have extra steel rods as well as spacing of main bars distribution bars are 6 by 6 inches main bars distribution bars dia is 12 millimeter or four sutter or you can say half inch you can see guys two steel rods extra steel rods so in this place they should provide with l by four but they did maximum distance look at here guys this is the other lapping look at here from here the lapping is starting as well as it's through on the top of the beam look at here look they will bind with binding wire this steel rod with another one look at here this is about six feet uh, this is about uh, two point uh, three point five meters 
you can see guys everything is wrong stirrups you can see the spacing is not proper lathing is a lot of uh, hooks bent with 90 degree and the junction between beam and column they did not provide the extra steel rods properly why they did this because they don't follow the steel structural design so main reason is structural design and as well as i don't see any development length at the end of the beam which is very important look at here guys we have anywhere you can see the lapping 